Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Hoomagoo Blog Talk radio show. And this is a great forum that I can talk to my music friends, the blues, and a great buddy, Mr. J.P. Williams, is joining me today on the show. Hey, J.P., how you doing, my friend? I'm doing well, my friend. How are you tonight? Good, Thanks good. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Spur of the moment. I just got a hold of you today. I'm trying to get this uh, the talk side of the Hoomagoo and the music going again. And I always remember the love that you sent me a couple summers ago when I wasn't doing too well, but you sent me the great hat, the J.P. Williams blues hat I wear, uh, the T-shirt, all the trinkets that you sent me, the keychain, the stickers. And, you know, I just needed to always send out the love back to you and, and, and to your fans and everything. So I really appreciate that, J.P. Well, like I told you before, Tom, we really appreciate uh, everything you, uh, all the music you've played for us and our support and supporting my music uh, on your stations. And, um, you know, you're very special to me. And uh, I, when you called today, of course, I would love to uh, be on the show anytime. No problem, my friend. And what spurred that is I'm playing my Christmas side on the Live 365, the Hoomagoo, the music that's always on. But and I remembered, I go, oh, my God, I got some Christmas music that my friend sent me, JP sent me a couple of years ago, our first Christmas. And I needed to find that. And you hit me up today and sent that to me. And I got that playing on the other musical side of the show. And open your heart. And you and ECAT, those are just great jams that you guys had. I really want to appreciate. Thank you again for that. Well, uh, thank you. Those songs, um, you know, we were we were working together, uh, uh, E. Cat Pereira and I, and um, I had uh, never really decided, never really thought I would write a Christmas song. I had tried years ago and didn't work out, and then all of a sudden uh, wrote one, and then the next year wrote another one, and um, I figured um, she was the perfect person to sing it, and, um, you know, I think they're good tunes, and uh, we've done pretty well. We've gotten some airplay on some Christmas stations, which is, uh, you know, it's a tough market out there with the Christmas stations. But uh, the nice part about it is these songs can be out there every year. So, <laughs> Well, they're very familiar, my friend. Our first Christmas is like, I remember, I think I told you that when I first got it a couple of years ago. It, it's it's very familiar when you hear it again. It, it's not new, and it, and it fits traditions, and it fits the, you know, the genre of the season. Well, I tried to when I when I wrote the tunes. Um, one of the thoughts in my mind, and I don't always control where the music is going, but uh, I really wanted some strong melody lines because um, that's really what a lot of the Christmas music gets. If you look back at the um, uh, classic music songs, they have a very strong melody line. You only have to hear them a few times before you can you can. Um, uh, Repeat them, or it sticks in your mind, what I like to call sticks in your mind, you know. Yeah, such a familiarity when I played it again right away this year. And, again, that is great. And the other cool one you got is Open Your Heart. And, again, E. Caprera is doing fantastic stuff for you on those songs. Yep, she she's, uh, she does a great job. She's a great singer, and uh, I really appreciate her uh, any time we get, to get, get together to play. So um, uh, she's awfully busy. But uh, she's doing actually doing a Christmas show. Um, she goes on tour for uh, the month of uh, December with a group called, which is uh, a um, Christmas show, uh, concerts they give uh, at uh, theaters and, uh, and uh, bigger venues. And um, she does great there. So uh, she's one of the uh, performers in that, uh, one of the star performers in that show. And um, they've been doing it for, I think, 20 years. Uh, she's only been with them since 2016, but um, it's a great show, kind of like the um, uh, orchestra that goes out there and does the Christmas orchestra. So it's a, it's a great show. I've been there several times. So. Oh, I bet she's got such a pretty voice. And I remember when we were chatting once during the coronavirus, because you had a cool coronavirus song that you put out too. And uh, I remember she came in the show but she was rescuing dogs at that time she's found a stray dog and she wanted to work and help to get the dog to find an owner and then she called in toward the end of the show and i 
It just fit E-Cat. Uh, she's out there caring about everybody, other humans, the dogs, and everybody. That was a neat little story that she had. Yeah, um, we have uh, we were lucky enough this year to do the local wolf stock, which is uh, the benefit for um, uh, yeah. the, the the Humane Society. And uh, we couldn't do it. We, we did it this year, and uh, we couldn't do it last year. I guess we didn't do it during the COVID year. Um, but we, the year before that we did it, E-Cat and I did it, and um, she actually adopted her dog. She, she, she adopted a dog from it, and um, he's, uh, I think he rules us now. So <laughs> uh, we're, we're always happy to do stuff like that, you know, to play those types of jobs. So it's great. So we had a good festival this year, too. Yeah, it's it's great going down memory lane with you, my friend. Again, J.P. Williams is my guest here in the Who Magoo, the blog talk radio. I used to blog talk because it's got a nice phone number I can call you at and, you know, works a little great. And if anybody would like to call in right now, we are live at 515-605-9882, 515-605-9882 to talk to J.P. And uh, Who Magoo, actually, this is Tom Garrett's on this end, and by the way, I'm based in the Milwaukee area, and you're in Pennsylvania. Is that not correct? Um, yeah, I'm in Pennsylvania. I'm in northeastern Pennsylvania, um, up in the corner near Scranton, Wilkesbury. Is that an Eagles fan there, or is that a Pittsburgh Steelers fan? Um, I think most people in this area are probably Eagles fans. Although we do have uh, we do have quite a few Pittsburgh fans. We, you know, we're close to New York City, so um, we have quite a few, I know, people that are Giants fans and occasional Jets, but, you know, <laughs> mostly, I guess I guess mostly Eagles and Giants are, are what we get around here, so. Oh, you're having great years, both of you. The Eagles are rolling high with one loss, and the Giants have come from nowhere, so uh, amen for the sports going by you, and by the way, Sunday is the last real hurrah for the pack. We we, we got to win. We got to beat the Eagles. I mean, without that, it's, oh, my gosh. We're, wheels are falling mm-hmm. off in Packer land. Well, they'll be back on. You know, it's, it's all it's all cyclical, you know. And, uh, what's up today will be down tomorrow and vice versa, you know. It's just uh, the way of the sports world, isn't it? it it's so true, and – you know, I, I carrying again, I love to talk about sports and music, but, you know, so totally the Packer fans over here, they're really, they're not handling it very well uh, with Aaron Rodgers and so much stuff that's happened, but I'm the kind of fan that just waits for the year. So it's not over yet. Let's just keep playing and enjoy the life and enjoy the music while it's happening. You know, that's all we can really do. And, and again, I'm great that things are working out for you guys. Well, thank you very much, Tom. We appreciate it. I'm glad that you're back on the air, and uh, and uh, uh, hopefully we're done with this COVID and everything. You know, as far as that goes, it's, it's been getting better, and hopefully it doesn't come back. So I know they're having troubles over there in China. I just saw some riots on the TV, but they got yeah. them locked down again over there, you know. So uh, we don't need to go back there. I think we suffered enough here, you know. No, oh, I know. I feel so bad for the people that have that and continuing lingering with the the COVID after case and all that. And, but I want to actually talk to you about something else that was so happy to be part of this is just going back a couple of years to your CD that I'm looking at. It was number 16 on the roots charts for the year 2021. JP and Ecant, that fabulous CD that you had rolling. You did it all by yourself, self-promote it. Us radio people, we spin it, spun it for you, put some roots, you know, the spins on the roots music report for you. And it was a great time to see that every week for you, my friend. Yeah, we did. Um, uh, amazingly enough, we had um, we had a number one off of there with the uh, on the roots music report, the national roots music report. We had uh, a uh, top uh Week number one, we had uh, Don't Let the Devil Ride, a song from there, and uh, we had a number two on there, and uh, we were uh, rose up to number four album, and uh, yeah, it's pretty tough to do these days. You know, there's a lot of competition out there. Uh, but So I was real happy with the, 
all the DJs all over the country and uh, overseas that, uh, you know, picked up my stuff and played it. Uh, I think we had, a, you know, a real good response to the music and uh, was real happy with that. Uh, it's why I make music so that people can enjoy it, you know, because uh, there ain't no money in this music business unless you, you know, <laughs> strike it really big. But um, it's a tough business, as you well know. CD sales are, are nowhere. Uh, especially this year, they got worse uh, than um, than uh, they ever have been. So um, we were lucky. We played a, a bunch of uh, uh, festivals. Um, uh, I've uh, last summer and this summer. Um, but uh, you know, it's hard. It's hard because uh, a lot of these places don't really know how who's gonna who's gonna come out. You know, they're not in the habit. I think it's starting to pick up again. Um, but, uh, you know, we played, uh, we played one festival that had, uh, they told me they had, uh, 26,000 people come through it. I don't know. I didn't count them, but, uh, mm-hmm. you know, last year, uh, there was some big headliners there. So, uh, you know, it's, a uh, it's, it comes and goes. I, I hope that the music business can come back to where it was. I don't think it's going to come back as far as CDs and even vinyl, um, this summer, I sold more T-shirts and hats than I did CDs, Tom. <laughs> that that's right. You have your C your T-shirt collection. That's right on Facebook. Everybody around the world is taking pictures and snapping it for you and showing it up on Facebook for everybody. Yeah, we have JP Williams T-shirts around the world. Um, uh, JC, JP Williams blues band shirts around the world on Facebook, <laughs> and you can see we've got. Uh, a collection uh, from overseas, uh, you know, United States, all over the place. So uh, it's been fun. That's a that's a fun little thing we do, and uh, we're real happy with that. So. Well, one of the reasons I really admire you, JP, is you give back too. Yes, you're you're an artist, and you're it's tough out there, you know, with the the sales and everything, but. I was just amazed when you send the things to myself, you know, the hats and the t-shirts and you, it's a lot. And then you sent me your CDs. I have more blue seeds that I play a lot too. Hot Cadillac and all those, all those cool other CDs that you sent me that you would spend that time and the money. And, you know, that's why I wanted to touch base with you and a lot of the artists because you give back too. And you even have a Spotify page that you play other people's music that you want to just promote. Well, it's uh, you know it's a long term uh, it's a long term thing. I think that the promotion comes back you know uh, to you after a while. Um, like I said, the, the COVID kind of put um, uh, a damper not just on me. I mean, musicians all over the world, you know, um, suddenly had no work. This and that and the other thing. I mean, we were the album you're talking about, JP and Ecat. We recorded it. We lay down all the the basic tracks live, uh, not live, but uh, in studio. When I say live, I mean with other musicians, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, You know, we collaborated on them, and then all of a sudden, we couldn't get together. So we had to finish the album, um, you know, with remote recording. And uh, Lou Pereira, uh, ECAT's husband, was the producer on it. He did a great job mixing everything together and produced a phenomenal product. For, in my opinion, um, you know, but he had to take the tracks um, from the individuals and some some musicians didn't have the ability to record and they couldn't go to a studio. Uh, some did get to a studio. Um, you know, it was very difficult to, to finish that album, but, you know, it came out and I'm real happy with it. We did, we did real well with it, though. So. Um, and the other neat thing is... Uh, thanks, to, uh, thanks to... Go ahead. The other neat thing is like you. Hmm? Yeah. Go ahead, my friend. And the other thing is like you. Thank you. I appreciate those kind words. And I really wanted to just mention the neat artwork that you have, the cover, because I'm looking at it right now on the blues chart from uh, 2021 right here. The JP and the ECAT, that is really smooth, the emblem that you guys made. Who's ever helping you with that part, too? Um, I have a good friend of mine who um, uh, is a, a, a graphic designer, 
And um, he put that together for us. So, you know, he does great work. He's worked in the graphic design industry for many years. He, he did work for um, um, Hallmark and the uh, uh, NFL and all kinds of places. So I, I, I persuaded him to do that for me, and he was kind enough to, to do that. He also did my logo for J.P. Williams Blues Band. He did that logo, too. So uh, he's a great guy. And uh, if you have a talented person to do it, you're lucky. So I'm lucky. I consider myself very lucky there. Super. And that's neat. Let's go down the memory lane a little bit. But now you're telling me you got something new happening, the review. All new, JP. You're going in a little bit different direction, a little Americana now with your music. Well, you know, Tom, I've, I've told you before, and I, uh, we talked about some of the music on other shows that we did for my albums and, and, they, uh, and my EPs. And, you know, sometimes they vary a bit, but I really can't control all the direction that I write music in. And I do consider myself primarily a songwriter and a performer. But, you know, songwriting to me is very, very important because uh, it really uh, comes from my heart and my soul. And um, uh, over the years, I've been writing music, and it's not just the blues. It, sometimes it, it steps out of the blues genre, and that's what's happened. Uh, I finally decided that it was time to uh, investigate that. Um, so I didn't feel comfortable putting out this new music under J.P. Williams' blues band. Um, if you look at artists that I, I really enjoy, like Tedeschi Trucks, um, uh, Ben Harper, um, Ariel Posen, I mean, uh, these guys, uh, uh, Brothers Landreth, I mean, those people are, are heavily involved in blues. Bonnie Raitt's a good example. But they don't just do blues songs, you know. They, they do Americana. They do with their roots, too. And that's what I'm trying to explore with J.P. Williams' Twilight Review. And uh, it's finally out on Spotify. came out last week, so any listeners can go J.P. Williams' Twilight Review. And uh, please follow me out there because we want to build that, that up. We have to kind of start over again. But uh, I'm looking to explore my roots, uh, Americana. I think there'll be some jazz tunes on this new uh, uh project and i hope to release one every month uh, until we get up to a full album and then we'll see if uh, there's any interest in putting it together for a cd or not so we'll find out oh that's exciting and i have one of the new tunes that you were kind enough to send my way just a fool that's one of the hot new tunes you got yep that's the one that was released on the 18th uh it's a single and like i said next month uh the tune next month will be um uh, it's called Miss You So Much. Uh, we're mm -hmm. currently producing that right now. And um, you'll be one of the first to get it, I promise you, Tom. Oh, thank you. I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait for the months to come up and all the different things that you're going to be sending. And, uh, again, J.P. Williams, check them out on Spotify. And you really got a neat website, too. I remember telling you that a couple of years ago. I like the way your website is designed with your music. you got some videos on there. It's really professional look, and it's really, you know, talks a lot about yourself and your your music. Yeah, it's jp-williams.com. So just in oh. case any listeners want to log in there, jp-williams.com. Okay. And, uh, Let please uh, uh, have them come in, subscribe, follow us, like us on Facebook, whatever. Everything helps, you know, these days. It's all about uh, social media. It's all about, uh, you know, contacting the people uh, and uh, getting our music out there. So I really appreciate the help, Tom. No problem. And I try and play you a lot of my Live 365. The Live 365 is the humagoo that never goes off. Um, the neat thing about Live 365, I don't know how much, but they do pay the artists. When I was doing podcasting, no, it's just promotion or the song, but it's everything is licensed on that, on that radio side that I have. And I don't know what they send you, but at least I feel better than just doing the, the pot guys to give you some recognition. Um, and I see that when you create your songs, you got it all right. Your composer, when it goes to the, you know, for the credits, the meditate, I've always appreciate the music that you sent me. 
Well, yeah, um, I'm 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 a big proponent of uh, you know licensing the music and making sure that it you know gets out there correctly um, to the radio stations and to the people that want to support the artist. I think supporting the artist is the most important thing because I uh, you know music is music is is not free. You know, as you well know, uh, I know you know uh, it costs money to to do shows. It costs money to to make music and uh, it's, uh, I think every artist, myself included, you know, deserves to, um, you know, uh, get any residuals that come down uh, the line, and it's very much appreciated. Yeah, when I pull out, like, my daily or weekly chart from when I've spun on the show, it, it, in the BMI, I've always noticed, JP, you got all yours filled out correctly. All that comes there. You got all the nice stuff, and all the info comes your way, or at least all the credit, should I say, on that forum. Well, thank you. I'm glad we're doing something right out here. <laughs> <laughs> let let me see if nice, I can get nice a yeah, no problem. Let me see if I can get a song to play because when we came on, there was supposed to be a song to be playing on my uh, on the blog talk here, but I heard dead air, so I'm gonna hit just a fool and let me see if it's coming on. We'll be right back. With you. I got a text from your cell phone Come over baby, I'm so alone Truth is I know the why and how Your new lover's left you So you want me to take you back again now We've danced this dance before love and we make war. You say it's my fault and I'm to blame. You pack your things, say goodbye. Break up the make up to you. It's all a game. I'm just a fool for loving you. To let you treat me the way you do. You must think I but I see through your lies and makes me realize I'm just a fool for loving you. I told myself not to let this happen again. But I've had enough and I know when to say when. Can't let you go Trying to swim in your ocean Hopelessly caught in the undertow Just a fool for loving you To let 
Thank you again. That is the brand new tune from J.P. Williams. Just a fool. Just a fool, but you're not a fool, man. You are a great dude, so thank you, J.P. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Thank you. We're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're back on air now. So today we were just doing a little chat with my friend J.P. Williams again, sending out the love to reminiscing about his cool blue stuff his new tunes that he's got going. And my friend, let's just try and do this every month or every couple months, and we'll keep everybody abreast and uh, rock out the new songs that you have coming into 2023. Well, that's what I said before. If you follow us on Spotify, J.P. Williams Twilight Review, uh, hit the follow button. And next month, I'm hoping we'll have a new tune out. And my goal is to release a new tune from this uh, project every month. So uh, it's a good way to, to do it. And I think, uh, you know, Spotify is a good, a good format for, for this type of music release. So, God bless you, my friend. Thank you for coming on the show. And everybody check it out, JP-Williams, for everybody to get out there and find your cool website uh, and find your music. They, they, Thank you very much, my friend. You have a great night. Thanks, buddy. We'll talk next time. Let's finish up with our first Christmas, J.P. Williams and ECAT. God bless. Happy Saturday. We'll talk soon, my friend. Bye-bye. Thanks. Peace. Thank you. God bless. Thanks.
thank you very much, J.P. Williams and Ecat Pereira, our first Christmas. Thank you, sir, for coming on the show. I hope that all came out okay. I know I started the show and I was playing a song, but it didn't play right away. So these things need to be battle tested a little bit. Blog Talk Radio is a little touchy at times. But again, the cool thing is you provide that call-in number. So I love to use that service. So anyways, thank you, JP. Thank you for your time again. Thank you for going down memory lane and for everything you do out there. And God bless your health and all your friends. And thank you for supporting myself on the health. I remember it was like two summers ago, I was going to talk to JP on a Saturday, but I I just couldn't. I didn't know what was going on with me, but uh, yeah, heart stuff, but I'm on the mend. I got, I got new arteries. So yeah, I had to go through open heart surgery and all that, but we are on the roll. We're rolling into 22. We're turning this baby on for the interview side. I got hopefully Corey Coons coming on real soon. Carolyn Gaines. Uh, Nisi's going to come on too, uh, Bridget Purdy. So I've talked to a lot of different people that I've touched base with, and we're all going to share some time here over the season, holiday season, and give the love and give the thanks and going into 2023. So, all right, let's finish up with um, Open Your Heart. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs>
your heart it is christmas time thank you bro thank you for everything tonight yeah i got a couple more jams i still got 21 minutes hour that i set up with jp i got cigar box boogie that was one of the jams that went to number one on the roots music report national blue stuff for many many weeks i'll play that it's a sunny day and we'll wrap the show up right here so again thank you everybody for listening I love it when this works because I know it is. I hit the other, hit my cell phone and I could hear the system working. I'm in the blind when I'm doing this. Block Talk Radio is nice to get their phone number, but I don't see any meters or anything going. So I just pray and hope that it's working good. So let's do a little cigar box boogie. Ah, there it is. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you, buddy.
Yeah, thank you, bro. Love it. J.P. Williams, Blues Band, and now J.P. Williams, The Review. Thank you, my friend. So we can look forward to every month new music, and we will promote it on here. And I'm going to be jumping over to the Live 365, but I'm rolling the Christmas music. We're playing Christmas all the way to the 25th. I have a lot of Christmas music that I, well, last year I spent a lot of, got a lot of songs. So I wait every year to play that. And I got Christmas music for you, JP, and a lot of friends. So we'll keep jamming the Christmas. And that's what got me in the good cheer to get my butt move here and get this show moving. And let's create it. Can't be waiting to get sick anymore. So, all right, my friend, enough of that. Let's carry on with, it's a sunny day. Thank you, buddy. Out. Umagoo. Have a great one. Happy Saturday. Go Pack. We're going to have to beat your Phillies, I'm sorry, or beat Philadelphia tomorrow. We have to. God bless. It'll be a sunny day. Either way. Thank you. God bless. Mama.